Here's, here's what uh, what Carl's talking about right here. You can see this window can be, you know, it can be turned around the other way when they mount it too. And you can see where it has weep holes up here, but they've got them plugged up here. Well, sometimes when you get these uh, from the manufacturer and they've installed the windows for you, they don't go ahead and pull the plugs here. And these are the weep holes when it starts raining. So yeah, uh, very important to double check and make sure that the plugs have been pulled on the weep holes along the bottom. Right. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. Or you'll have the problem that you guys had. You'll think your window's leaking and you'll seal it and open it and seal it and open it about six times and then you'll figure out it's got plugs in it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what we did. <laughs> Alright everybody, I'm standing here with Terry and Carl. Say hi Terry hi. and Carl. Hi. <laughs> I can tell she's going to be the talkative one. Possibly. <laughs> Usually I am, but he knows more about everything he did in the trailer. <laughs> yeah. Now, is this the first time you've attended one of these rendezvous? Actually, we went to the one in Florida. Did you really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I apologize for not remembering that. <laughs> um, boy, I'm just my memory's just going south. It must have been what I had for breakfast this morning, and I <laughs> and I can't even remember what that was right now. But anyway, here we are in Pickensville, Alabama, and I, I'm just curious. Uh, isn't this a terrible view right here? You got? It's just horrible. It's just horrible. <laughs> and, you know, it's just really, really cool when those barges are pretty much right in your face, you know, when they yes. go by, them yeah. big old huge barges. But anyway, let's talk about your creation here. Tell me again what the size of it is. It's a 7 by 12. 7 by 12. Yeah. Tandem axle, of course. Right. And those, I'm, I'm assuming, are 3,500 pound axles, which would give you a gross vehicle weight of 7,000 pounds. Right. And uh, from looking at your trailer, I know we're nowhere near the the capacity yeah, of the trailer started out at like 1700 pounds and I, you might have put a thousand pounds in it yeah there you go it. and you tow it with your uh, dodge ram here of course yeah. that's a 5.7 liter hemi so right. you probably don't even know it's back there do nope, you not really yeah for sure but uh, i really like the graphics on the side here and of course you've got matching graphics on the other side as well and one of the first things that caught my attention when I pulled up here are these really cool looking wheels and you said those were on a boat so you pulled them off of there and put them on that <laughs> instead, right? Yeah, sure did. All righty. Well, why don't we do a quick walk around over here on this side and point out some of the features on the outside of the trailer and then we'll take a look on the inside. Yeah. Well, we got the, the water hookup right here that just basically goes to the sink so we can wash our hands. Uh, we don't have uh, any kind of shower or anything yet but I thought I might have put a shower in it but it, we never got there yet but that's where that goes in and okay and you were telling me about a, a catch uh, a catch vessel that you have yeah, underneath the trailer a, to catch the there's a six gallon container that catches our sink water and uh, mm. it, we hardly ever fill it up we're just washing out cups and hands and stuff. of course of course but seems to work really good fantastic and uh, then you've got a 30 amp uh, power inlet over here. Right. Right here. Okay. And uh, now, did the windows, uh, were they on, did you have, did you buy it with the windows in it? Yeah, we, we special ordered the trailer from an outfit in Georgia and had the windows put in it. We wanted barn doors, so, so we could put the AC in the back and. Uh huh. Got a 24 volt lithium battery here that is a, a power inverter that we can basically uh, just plug it up and turn it on and we can power the whole inside of the trailer and, and then you have this here for uh, this yeah. just protect the terminals right on right, it right? Right, right yeah yeah this will ride down the road like this uh -huh. everything's tied down sure and you were telling me how you charge the battery yeah, it's got a portable charger. That you, any kind, it looks like there's anything you'd charge your normal 12 volt battery with. It's uh -huh. a little box with terminals. Plug it up, and charges, turns green, shuts itself off. It's ready to go. And you said it didn't take very long at all. No, nope, not charge really. It. No. And then you've got your little uh, what is it, 5,000? 5,000. Uh huh. And does it work good for you? This thing will get it down to 62 in there in the summertime. Wow. Yeah. Now, are we talking about Florida summers? Because yes. I know you're from the Florida area. Florida, yeah. Wow. So that's saying a yeah. lot right there. You've got like styrofoam insulation, top and bottom, all the way around. Okay. Now, what was the ceiling height? I think, well, I stepped inside a minute ago. I'm going to say it's probably a six foot ceiling height. Six, six foot. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mighty fine. All righty. Anything else you want to point out here on the. 
on the outside of the trailer before we uh, take a look inside? Well, these are barn doors, and uh, basically there used to be a, a lock, locking mechanism here, and uh, we removed that, and I have a, a pen on the top and the bottom on the inside with a cable. So ah. If I ever needed to go out, I could pull that cable, and both those doors would fly open. Oh, well, that's just fantastic. I'm really glad to hear that because uh, I, yeah. I, I talk, you know, I see a lot of these sometimes where they don't have another means of egress just in case you had yeah. an emergency. So mm -hmm. to me, that's, uh, that's a plus right there. That's very important. Yeah. Very important. All righty. All right. Well, you ready to step inside? I'm just going to shoot from the outside and let you all tell me all the features on the inside, if that's okay. Sure. All right. All right, so we started and built us a uh, countertop here with a small sink. And um, we got a backsplash that's magnetic. You want to put your little stickies on it. Um, we got a microwave, we got refrigerator, freezer, uh, some storage containers. Everything here came from Walmart. We, uh, toaster we had oven. Toaster oven. Um, on this side here, we have a little porta potty that's in here uh, with a little privacy wall. There you, you go. A lot of a lot of stuff in here, like you know, cosmetics and stuff, toothbrush, band aids, whatever. It's hanging in there. Now let's talk a little bit more about this uh, magnetic backsplash you got here. Now that's made out of uh, gal uh, sheet galvanized, right. galvanized sheet. Right. Yeah. And uh, you got that idea from another walkthrough video that we did, and because yes. uh, I been, remember you telling me Terry it was from Jan and Johnny's video, yes. and that's been quite a while back. Mm -hmm. You know, and they actually came yesterday and went through the trailer and looked. So she she loved it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Aren't they? Aren't they a, a, a really sweet couple? They are very we, sweet. We just love Jan and Johnny. Very sweet. And then the way you got these crates done up here. Now these crates, I've seen them at Lowe's, seen them at Walmart. I right. Mean, you can buy them, and you've got them mounted where you screwed the back of them up to the yeah, wall. But I really like the way you uh, you did the netting. There. Yeah. The netting comes from Harbor Freight. It just it'll pop on and pop off. Keeps everything secure when you're going down the road. Mm-hmm. Fabulous. That is a really great idea right there. I think that's really neat. Uh, I might try to figure out a way to incorporate something like that. But don't, yeah. don't tell Deb that I got the idea from you. We have a couple of extras <laughs> so he can have some whatever he needs. Uh -huh. I have one back there in case I need it. I see. Yeah. Now when I first looked at this bed, when I stepped in here a while ago, first thing that hit me was I thought it was a real queen, but I guess it's not, right? It's a full size, full size mattress. Oh, I had to step down off the step here, but that's a regular full size. But it looks bigger in, in here mm -hmm. than that. And you've, you've told me that other people mentioned the same thing. Yes, you know, everyone look that's at looked at it has uh -huh. thought it was a queen. Well, tell us about this bed frame that you uh, that you made for this. Well, <laughs> it started to be a collapsible bed frame made out of uh, conduit and PVC that slide together. And uh, we saw that on another YouTube video of a guy making one. So we figured that it was going to help us, give us a little more room in here. So when we finally got it and we got it all set up, we started looking at it and we're thinking, we don't really need to push it in that direction. It really doesn't affect us getting up and moving around in here. So basically we've left it where it's at. But if I wanted to, I could push it back up against that wall about three feet and put the uh, mattress up against the back wall. Hmm. But, uh, so you got like slip joints where the where the tubing will slide inside each yeah, other. Yeah, a piece of right? a piece of one inch uh, EMT or conduit will slide inside a piece of PVC one inch. Really? Yeah, just just enough where you can slip them together. Well, that's fabulous, and I can tell that that looks like these front legs are. PVC. These are these are PVC. Yeah, that's what I thought. And they they'll actually collapse and turn in that way, but they're working pretty good for us. Well, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Wow. Well, this is just really neat. I, I, now, how, have, uh, how, how long have you been using it like this? We've one had year. It one year. We've had it one, one year. year. Yep. And have mm -hmm. you done quite a bit of traveling with it so far? I think this is our fifth trip. Really? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just got back from Ohio like a month ago, right? In July, we went to, um, we started in West Virginia, Pennsylvania, Ohio, and then we did one night in Cherokee, North Carolina, and then home. Wow. Yeah. But, uh, 
I don't know if you can see them or not, but I got these pins right here that are locking both of these doors. And that's like spring loaded. Whoops, I didn't really want to do that. But if I pull those, <laughs> both those doors will fly open. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, so there's a cable on the top one and the bottom one. And I've got a handle right here in the middle. And if I pull it, both of those doors will fly open. And uh, it looked like it would pop open real easy, yeah, real easy. you know, yeah. uh, in the case of an emergency. Right. Well, yes. That's just really neat the way you got that set up. I'm tickled to death to see that. I truly, truly am. Well, this thing's cool, and I see you got yep. your little TV here. Yep. Yep. Let me swivel. And it, is it a uh, 110 volt or a, or a 12 it's, volt? Okay. It's, uh, it runs on 112, but it's actually it's got a transformer that makes 12 volts. I got you. Yeah. This is and this is for the, uh, this will turn on and off the uh, battery. Okay. And then you see you've utilized one of these smaller crates. Right, just to hold our Which uh, Deb, Deb has had me hang those all over the kitchen area of our trailer. Hmm. They come in everywhere. handy. Oh, they cer certainly do. This yes, is a do. little satellite that we supposed to be supposed to be an antenna, but it doesn't work here. <laughs> <laughs> it worked at home, but... <laughs> anyway, yeah. but I just now noticed your floor. Tell us about your floor here. Well, the floor is just a giant piece of linoleum that we got off a roll. Yeah, it's uh, probably wasn't the best way to go, but it was probably the cheapest and the quickest way. So. Well, uh, I, I'm beginning to think, you know, we, we we started out first in our trailer with the click clack type material, but as much traveling as we do, bouncing yeah. down the road, yeah. we started having trouble with the joints popping loose on it. Mm. And probably if I had it to do over, now we ended up doing a, a full marble look on the floor. Uh, that's what Deb likes to do. Mm -hmm. But uh, if I had it to do over, I probably would have just got regular sheet goods and did exactly what you guys did here. Yeah. So, but it looks nice. It really sets it kinda, off. Kind of wrinkled it. I will tell you one thing that when we first got this trailer, we didn't know anything about it. And uh, they have these things for venting on the windows called weep holes. Yes. And they were plugged. So if they're plugged and it rains real hard, the rain will come in the camper and run down the wall. Right. And uh, that kind of messed the flooring up a little bit. Oh, that's that's a shame that but, uh, that happened. But yeah, yes. I'll point these out right quick. Yes, yeah, so you got to leave those weep hole those those plugs out. Right. Or it's going to rain and come inside. Exactly. In fact, it's uh, there's here's here's what uh, what Carl's talking about right here. You can see this window can be, you know, it can be turned around the other way when they mount it too. And you can see where it has weep holes up here, but they've got them plugged up here. Well, sometimes when you get these uh, from the manufacturer and they've installed the windows for you, they don't go ahead and pull the plugs here. And these are the weep holes when it starts raining. So yeah, uh, very important to double check and make sure that the plugs have been pulled on the weep holes along the bottom. Right. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. Or you'll have the problem that you guys have. You'll think your window's leaking and you'll seal it and open it and seal it and open it about six times. And then you'll figure out it's got plugs in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, of course, after you figured that out and pulled the plugs, I guess the problem went oh, away. Yes. <laughs> fantastic. Fantastic. Well, I'll tell you what, folks, I got some more uh, videos to try to shoot uh, this afternoon. And we really appreciate you all taking the time to show us your, your creation here. Uh, it's really neat. It's very, very functional and it's neat and tidy. That's what I really appreciate, it, appreciate about it more than anything else. And it's obvious that you've been using it you yes. know and it's working yep. well for yep. you so fabulous and i hear again i want to apologize again because I, I i think i remember you guys now when we were at florida but just, we we got a count last night just as the meet and greet we had 145 people there wow so uh needless to say yeah. deb and i have been just slightly overwhelmed yeah. with the size oh, yeah. of, of this particular uh event mm -hmm. that we're we're hosting here and all the while, while we were having a meet and greet, we were watching other people coming into the campground. Mm -hmm. So uh, anyway, it's going to be, it already is the biggest event we've ever had. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, I might be a little forgetful at times because of that. But anyway, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to sign off for now. I've got some more to shoot. This is Bill and Carl. Right. Terry. Terry. And Terry. <laughs> 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 See what I'm talking about? <laughs> And this is I Ride Tiny House Adventures, and you know exactly what we're going to say. We're not camping. We're living. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye now. Bye.